bigger isn't always better, and it's been proven time and time again. Especially at this day and age where wearable technology has fast become the norm. Devices and components are only going to continue to get smaller and smaller. From miniature tech from the 80s to what some people consider to be the world's smallest computer, here are some of the smallest devices ever made. Our first entry is the smallest TV. Making things smaller isn't a recent thing. Believe it or not, people have been trying to make technology smaller since the 70s. Most of these tiny products created during that time were either useless or at most impractical. But if you had a micro device back in the 80s, especially when you were a kid, you were the coolest kid in the schoolyard. Take this extremely cool, albeit again highly impractical gadget which came out in 1982. At first glance, the Psycho T001 looks like your typical digital watch. But if you look at the watch face carefully, you'll soon realize that the tiny 1.25 inch square is actually a TV display. Yes, my friends, you are looking at the official Guinness World Record holder of the tiniest TV screen, which was awarded to it in 1984. And mind you, that record still stands to this day. The T001 was a product that cost Psycho millions of dollars in three years to develop. I know what you're thinking right now. How did they cram all the guts of a standard TV into something as tiny as a watch back then? Well, they actually didn't. The watch came with a small box that looks like a Walkman, and this is where the guts of the TV are actually at. And since you can't fit decent speakers onto the watch as well, the package also came with a set of headphones. Of course, most of you modern viewers are probably going to ask, what the heck is a Walkman next? Well, that would need a totally different video. Let us know in the comments if you want to learn more about Forgotten Tech of the Past, hint hint. Anyways, the T001 was first released in Tokyo and Osaka during the summer of 1982 at the price of 98,000 yen. So let's see, crunching the numbers here, that would be about 125,000 yen in today's money, which is also around $1,150 American. Oh boy, that is an expensive watch. But hey, if you wanted to be on the cusp of modern technology back then, you'd need to spend some money. But just what kind of tech is that amount of money going to give you? Well, actually, not much, again. To keep the size down, Psycho used the smallest LCD screen they could find. However, having a resolution of only 31.9 pixels and the ability to only display around 10 shades of grey, not to mention the lack of backlighting, you wouldn't be able to see much of anything. The next entry is the smallest batteries. Nowadays, almost everything runs on batteries, which is a good thing. I mean, really, just try to imagine that the only way to use your ultra-modern smartphone was to be plugged into the mainframe? Yeah, I don't think so. Battery technology itself has improved by leaps and bounds since the first practical battery was invented in 1800, not only in capacity, but also in size. Batteries have been getting smaller and smaller all the while increasing in capacity. How small am I talking, though? Well, actually, about the size of a grain of sand, for instance. A research team from the Wyss Institute at Harvard University and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign have managed to create micro batteries the size of a grain of sand. Even more amazingly, they made these microscopic batteries by using a 3D printer. Researchers used a custom-built 3D printer which extruded special links through a minuscule nozzle. Redding created the battery as a node, cathodes were purple, and a green case encapsulated the parts before an electrolyte solution was added to create a working micro battery. Of course, the applications for a battery that size could be endless. From the top of my head, they could be used to power medical implants such as pacemakers, or perhaps just smaller applications like a bunch of them for a flashlight. Beyond the medical field, the technology could be used to power insect-like robotics, tiny cameras, and microphones as well. Our next entry is the world's smallest gun. It is called the Miniature Revolver C1ST and is manufactured by a company called Swiss Minigun. This aptly named revolver is absolutely tiny at just 2 inches long. It also weighs less than an ounce, and you could easily mistake it for a toy, but it's definitely not for the kids. They are 2.34mm caliber rimfire cartridges that come either as blank rounds or live rounds. It is considered a collector's item, and only a few of them have actually been made since the company started to make them in 2005. The initial run only consisted of about 300 units, with the company only making 100 or so units per year thereafter. Each one of them would cost you about $6,200, but there is also a more expensive model. The NRA1YG is a make of 18 karat gold and can be customizable with all types of grips, from ebony to even diamond. It even comes with a tiny rocket launcher that launches real rockets that explode in green, red, or white. 
One of these bad boys can cost upwards of 60000 If you're a gun collector in the US and you want to have one of these as part of your collection, well, tough luck as they're banned in the US. The US federal gun laws outlaw any working firearm with a barrel less than 3 inches long. One more reason for it being banned is the size of its bullets. Firing a cartridge essentially smashes the bullet, making it impossible to trace using ballistics investigation. Not that it's lethal at all. On the contrary, the manufacturers say that the projectile launch from this gun wouldn't even carry enough power to penetrate skin. The small caliber bullet only travels at around 400 feet per second and carries a force of only about 0.71 foot-pounds. Take note that it takes a minimum of one foot-pound of force to pierce skin, making this weapon incapable of even penetrating the most vulnerable parts of the body, kind of like the eyes. Still, the US stands on its ban on these micro-weapons, saying that anything that fires a projectile is inherently dangerous. And now it's time for the day's best pick. This photo claims to be the world's smallest camera, which is hard to believe because, come on, that tiny speck is no bigger than a grain of sand. But then again, think of the battery as well. It might be hard to believe, but it is indeed true. Find out more about it next with the world's smallest camera. With the insane dimensions of just 0.575 by 0.575 by 0.232 mm, the Omnivision OV6948 is officially recognized as the world's smallest camera by the Guinness Book of World Records. Small, but most definitely not incapable, it is good for 40,000 pixel color images using an RGB Bayer backside illuminating chip. But why make a camera that is this ridiculously small? Well, it has been specifically developed for use in medicine, specifically surgery. With this camera, surgeons now have the ability to see inside the tiniest of veins in the human body, something that they wouldn't have been able to do so before. Although there are some cameras that can technically do the same thing, only the Omnivision can provide clear quality images. It captures at 30 FPS and can have an analog output at 4 millimeters away without too much noise. With the Omnivision, surgeons are going to be able to perform microsurgeries with more accuracy and precision than ever before. And it will definitely see use in fields like neurology, ophthalmology, ENT, cardiology, spinal injuries, urology, gynecology, and arthroscopy. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our last entry is the world's smallest computer. Okay, so this last entry is a little bit contentious because the term computer seems to be thrown around willy-nilly. A calculator is generally considered a computer, and these modern game consoles that we have nowadays are just souped-up computers with particular parts. What does a machine have to have in order to be classified as a computer, though? Processor? RAM? Well, if that's the case, then the University of Michigan can definitely claim to have made the world's smallest computer. The thing they made is basically just a cube measuring at just 0.3 millimeters. To give you a bit of context, a grain of rice simply looks massive when sitting beside it. Despite its minuscule dimensions, its creators somehow managed to cram a processor, RAM, a photovoltaic power system, and a wireless transmitter inside. These components would definitely qualify in this micro-machine as a computer. But before we do that, let's see how the thing is used first. According to New Atlas, the tiny computer is designed to be used as a precision temperature sensor, able to monitor temperatures and changes in regions as small as a few cells. It is pretty precise to about 0.1 degrees Celsius. It does so by converting temperatures into time intervals and comparing that to a steady time interval transmitted to the chip by the base station. In the future, such a machine could have a lot of applications, but it's currently being tested as a viable tool in cancer detection and treatment. Researchers hypothesize that cancer cells are generally hotter than healthy tissue, so they plan to put that idea to the test using this precise temperature sensor. So, it's basically a smart thermometer when it all boils down to it. Another thing detractors of the machine point out is the fact that if the device loses power, all of its programming and data stored in the RAM are wiped. This could be a problem since the machine relies on light for power, but is designed to operate in dark environments, i.e. inside the human body. It may have its supporters, its detractors, its uncaring, but I'm gonna end this debate right now because there's one surefire way to test to determine whether it is a computer or not. Can it run Crisis? I actually looked this up, I have no idea. Do you know of any other microscopic pieces of tech that didn't make it to this list? Let us know down below in the comments. Also make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Later everybody!